Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Boozer here. Hopefully you guys are having a good end of the week, getting ready for the weekend and all that. In today's video, I'm going to go over a end game ice golem farming hard 10 team made pretty much full of free to play um, champions with relatively low gear requirement and the speed, the clear speed is absolutely awesome. So this is a true end game farming um, team. So obviously there's going to be some good gear involved, but as far as champion uh, accessibility, it's absolutely insane. It's very, very uh, nice. Um, I'm going to jump into the team right now for you guys. So there is an ice golem tournament going on. That's why I mentioned this. I am on my clan mates Moose's account. He has this team built. I actually don't have this exact team built on my account yet. I'd use a slightly different team with Ghostborn. But I usually farm food with uh, on stage 9 with my single r and 4 food. But he has an Ice Golem Hard 10 team ready to go. And this is the team here. As you can clearly see, there's one legendary champion, r which is a free login champion. If, you've been, if you have r if you were playing when r was free, you might have the gear to pull this off. However, you might it might still be early for you in terms of your overall progression if you just started around r -tack. So definitely keep this video or this team in mind when you get to this level of progression for hard 10 ice golem. Um, we have a renegade. You can see the renegade is only a level 40. Uh, we have deacon, which is also a starter promo champion. So if you have um, a brand new account, actually, you might have been uh, fortunate enough to get deacon from one of the promo codes. Um, so he was he's basically the best champion you could start with from all those promo codes. So definitely check that out. Uh, Deacon Armstrong and then you have helmet helmet can be replaceable. He's um, you know He's basically here to supply buffs for seer, but he is a free champion from doom tower normal And then you have seer which of course is probably the hardest champion to get however at one point She was a guaranteed void epic. So maybe Plarium's going to be more generous with seer events in the future She is pretty critical to most dungeon farming teams. Let's jump into the AI setup here for you guys so like I said, I'm on Moose's account. My clanmate, he has his team built on his account. Uh, personally, for my account, I run a slightly different account with Ghostborn. It's slightly slower as well. Um, but I do usually use Artac as a solo farmer for Ice Golem Hard 9 with 4 food, as opposed to doing Hard 10. Of course, much slower. So let's go over the presets and the gear here. So we got Deacon Armstrong opening with the um, decreased defense. And then A2, decreased defense, A3, everything is off. So he's just here just to probably speed up the waves. Um, 288, he's going to go first. He has enough accuracy to do his business. He's not particularly tanky or anything. He has some HP. Renegade, Renegade is just going to do whatever. Um, lock out her A3 on wave 1. Uh, wave 2 is going to be opening with the A3. And then wave, wave 3, she's just going to die. She's level 40, she's gonna die instantly. She doesn't need any stats, just needs the proper speed. Um, she needs to go last out of everybody. So that's the only thing that's important. 190 speed, that's what uh, Moose has his Renegade at. Helmet, Helmet's here to provide buffs for the Seer to take off. So round one, you go open with the buffs. Round two, you got reset and then you open with the buffs. Um, and then round three, everything's off, he's gonna die. You want the accuracy for the stuns, I guess, and then some speed, 252. So he's going after Artac. Uh, he's going after Artac before Seer. So Artac, here's his solo Artac. Keep in mind that these stats are boosted by Great Hall stats, of course. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. We'll go over the actual builds and actual stats without the boost uh, after the run. So here's Artac. Everything's open on wave two, uh, wave one. Wave 2, he shut off A2 and A3. I, I guess he's getting ready for a th uh, for the round 3. Round 3, he just has everything off. Um, his Artac needs resistance since the Artac will be soloing the Ice Golem. That's very important. With 366 accuracy, which is more than enough. I recommend 330, 340 accuracy for hard 10. So 360 is more than enough. Super good speed. 80k plus HP is solid. And 3k plus defense is probably what you need to solo this boss with Artac in the end. So going to Seer. Seer is the um, obviously the damage dealer. Um, so you open with a Karma Burn. Wave 2, open a Karma Burn again. 
wave three make sure you have karma burn off because if you karma burn by accident or whatever if you don't turn this thing off you will trigger the counterattack from the ice golem and the ice golem will probably kill you so you got seer here um keep in mind the speed order so you got armstrong first our attack helmet seer renegade so that's going to be the order so his seer has 320 crit damage big pretty big seer you probably don't need something so insane if you have some more buffs he has rend crushing rend on his seer our attack has reaper for the blessing reaper does help finish off some lower hp mobs uh, a little bit faster um, the other uh, blessing you can go with our attack is miracle heal miracle heals gives them a little bit of extra survivability but not as quick clear times on the wave so keep that in mind um cruelty cruelty just for some extra de uh, ignore def um, lowering defense on the waves i guess um so yeah so that's what you go well, that's what he's got for his stats let's do a quick run here and we'll go through his builds and masteries i'll show you guys how it goes here really fast run guys so two times speed decrease defense our tactic is a1 seer comes in kills everybody after the buffs a1 stun a1 reset decrease defense a1 buffs seer kills kills everybody all right so this is where our attack's going to solo the boss the um boss is going to kill basically the whole team except for our attack make sure um there's no like big damage triggering from your team your team doesn't need damage outside of seer and now it's just the solo show from our attack so here we go there's a couple of things to keep in mind here you don't really want the ads to die to your team so you don't want your team to have like huge crit damage or a crit or you know high crit rate you want them to stay alive so that they maintain the burns so that um our attack can burn them uh, which deals damage to the boss so that's very important um, so in this case, what you see the Reaper popping up there, taking big chunks of damage off of the Ice Golem. One minute and four seconds. RNG gave uh, Moose a 58 second run. So this is a pretty like you know solid one minute, one minute team, right? And you guys saw exactly how the team worked. We can do another quick run here uh, to show you guys exactly how it works. It's so smooth. I love it. It's awesome, awesome team. And like I said, very accessible, free-to-play champions. You don't even need Lydia to do this. Uh, I think Lydia is not preferred because she block revives the adds. She allows your team to do too much damage to the adds because of the defense, de uh, decreased defense and weaken. And um, yeah, and her animations are slower, so it does slow down the run a little bit. Extra turn from Seer, so slows her, slows down the run a little bit. But two, two swipes from the boss and the whole team's dead. And now it's just a solo show. So our attack with more speed means more damage, more healing. So definitely jam as much um, speed as you can on our attack. And then we just got the HP burns going on and on. And like I said, Miracle Heal is this very solid uh, substitute blessing for our attack. You won't have Reaper for the big, uh, you know, slice down at the end. But... It will be um, super consistent to maintain his HP if you can't reach the high stats that Moose has, for example. All right, perfect. 104, uh, one minute and four seconds again. So very, very solid time. Let's jump into the gear and the masteries. And there is a couple things to uh, go over. So I want to go over that really quick here. So here's his Superman Artac regen. If you have a two-piece set, it's going to be Defiant or Immortal. Both of them would be excellent. Like I said, make sure you have resistance if you are soloing the if you are soloing the ice golem make sure you have resistance if you don't plan to solo the boss you could bring somebody like elva who has a cleanse um, can keep your attack alive you don't need resistance on attack so for example you could sub out somebody like um, helmet bring in uh, elva with like a shield set or something or more buffs and then if your seer is able to then your seer is going to run with a run the waves down and then let Elva and Artak duel the boss at the end. So that's possible. You could also bring somebody like maybe Mithrala. Mithrala has obviously like a cleanse as well and then a shield to keep people alive. But resistance on Artak, 430, 440 resistance what you need. 
Resi and accuracy 330, 340 accuracy is what you need for a hard 10. Keep his speed above what the boss is. I believe boss is 250, so keep his speed at least above 250. And you want at least 3k defense with probably 75k to 80k HP to be able to do this um, hard 10 content. All right. So masteries, masteries. He's got down to unshakable. So he's definitely getting the extra resistance here. If you're okay with the resistance, you're gonna go with oppressor. Oppressor is gonna give you even more turn meter. It's gonna give you even more turns, more damage. So if you can obviously swing the extra stats, go down to oppressor here. The other important one will be spirit haste. You get some extra stacks of speed when your team dies. So that's very important. Um, healing masteries are solid. And uh, yeah, blast proof, so reduce damage from AoEs. And yeah, that's going to be it for our attack. Um, you know, he obviously needs to be booked and he obviously needs to be pretty strong. We got the five star of our attack blessing from the event. So if you guys have no blessing on our attack, you're probably going to be taking a miracle heal here just to make sure that he stays alive. So miracle heal. This one will heal him up, give him some extra HP. So if you guys are low on stats, look for this one, even for a uh, low star blessing one. So moving on to his seer, he's got a pretty boss seer here, six star seer. Um, you definitely don't need it. Of course, Crushing Ren is very, very strong, gives her extra crit damage. Um, you don't need Crushing Ren, you don't need big blessing or anything, but you do need a strong seer. So high crit damage, speed, you want the proper speed order. You don't need accuracy on her for this dungeon in particular. You don't need insane HP or any kind of survivability stats. You do want savage or lethal gear on your seer, of course. Cruel is not necessary, but you know he's got it on. Um, and yeah, that's here, fully booked. And then mastery, he's got some extra crit damage here. He's got first hit damage, and that's about it. Um, so seer is pretty general. If you got a proper seer, she's gonna be good in tons of, tons of content for waves. So make sure you build your seer right. Uh, moving on to Deacon. Deacon's got some gear removed to make sure he dies on the uh, the big boss. So he's gonna go first. He's need, he needs about he needs proper accuracy. So 330, 340 accuracy to land his debuffs. He's just there for decreased defense. Uh, he's got War Master. Uh, honestly, War Master is probably not even needed. It. It's good for the waves, but maybe it's bad for the boss like you don't want um war master against the boss at all because war master can actually trigger the boss's uh, retribution slam so you know you see so you don't want war master you probably don't even want war master on deacon you don't even want that chance but most likely deacon's not going to be striking the boss but definitely probably don't even need masteries on deacon to be honest he, he's just there for the speed lead extra speed for our attack and then aoe decreased defense just to help seer clear the waves all right, so moving on, we got Helmet here. Helmet, he's just going to be in that proper speed aura with enough accuracy to maybe place a stun. You saw that he used the stun on the wave two. After that, he's just dead meat. He just dies. He needs 100% crit rate to stun. After that, just keep his HP low so that he just drops uh, right away uh, against the boss. He doesn't need War Master, so that's it. Pretty pretty simple. He needs books, right? He needs books, so make sure you book him out. He's a great champ. I mean, when you get him in Doom Tower, he's a great champ. Um, he's a yeah, he's a great champ. He hard carries for Banner Lords as well. Uh, and then your final champion is what the heck is this man? <laughs> I didn't check his build, but uh, he has a Renegade with only three pieces of shield set. I don't know if this is if this is what uh, he did on purpose, but maybe the shield set is keeping his team alive. Maybe the shield set is too much and is keeping his whole team alive during the uh, boss fight. So that's why he removed it, kept the Renegade basically at no health. And then the speed, she's going to go last. No masteries. Books, no books. Incredible. I love it. So there you go, guys. This is an incredible team, free to play. Very low, um, obviously, um, investment necessary. You saw there's not even a shield set on this team. However, I will preface that obviously his seer is a hard carry, very strong champion. But of course, you're going to invest a lot of resources into your seer so that you can properly clear dungeon waves. And of course, Artak is well geared, but you're going to invest heavily in your Artak, even if you are a new player, because he's probably the best legendary you have on your team and he's well worth the investment. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the team. Thank you so much, Moose, for letting me showcase on your account. 
I hope this helps somebody along the way. And uh, if you guys like the content, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.